second harvest, our programs wouldn't be such a quality practice. They wouldn't be best practices because we wouldn't be able to provide all those snacks or those meals or those supports. Somebody who runs a program, they're in charge of making a dinner for that night. If anyone else is around to help, then usually someone's out helping with them. Yeah, and our community events, because we have uh, different community things happening throughout the day, a lot of the participants will stay on because of it's their children in the program. So it's the adult's way of helping and volunteering and giving back. For Culture Night, um, the food that Second Harvest provides feeds on average 30 people up to 100 every Tuesday. So in our cultural night, we um, we have a potluck dinner, so everyone will bring something. We make usually a stew or whatever it is that we get off the truck we use for cultural night. Um, we have a teaching that goes on after dinner, also a craft, and then we have our ECE room open for parents who want to bring their children from zero to six into the ECE room. We don't get much budget to provide dinner and snack and all that kind of thing, so it really does help us out a lot with um, maintaining what we have and budgeting and providing a meal and a snack for them. In the future, what one of the things we're doing is working out with Second Harvest that we'll be giving some cultural training back to them and our staff will be going out to train them in, them in sort of an Aboriginal context and a craft or, or an activity from the Aboriginal component and it's just our way of giving back because you've been so helpful with us.